Well, good morning. Am I wearing the same shirt today that I've been wearing for the last three days and that I stained on the other day? I am. It's become like my, I wake up in the morning and I don't want to change out my pajamas, but I do want to change out my pajama shirt, so it's what I'm wearing. Anyways, today is currently March 18th. It is Wednesday. I have to go to work here in a couple hours. I have to work for a little bit and then we have an emergency staff meeting. A lot of people I think are going to be coming in remotely to it, hopefully, but I have to work so it'd be kind of stupid to like <laughs> go to work and then be like, I gotta leave and log in remotely. So it is what it is. And besides, I think the uh, the majority of the people that are going to be there are the people that I've been with for the last couple days. And I've been trying to socially distance like six feet from them and it's very hard when they keep walking towards you. <laughs> I'm like, get away. So anyways, that's what's on the docket for today, but I think before then I have to edit a vlog. I did edit one yesterday and posted it today from a couple days ago, but I had continued that vlog the like two days after that because I thought that it was not enough footage, but I forgot that I talked about my goals and everything in that one. So it was like, if I had put it together, it was going to be half an hour and that was just too long. So I think I'm going to work on editing that one right now because I still have like an hour and a half before I have to be at work. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to chill. I've got a list as usual to get through. And so we're just going to, we're just going to start the morning slow. I've already had lunch and um, I didn't sleep the greatest last night. I had weird dreams but it is what it is so I'll um, get on this and we'll see what else we can accomplish today. <laughs> Alrighty, we are editing and it is going all right thus far. It is just afternoon. I just realized like I have to be at work in an hour so I need to start, I need to stop this soon but I'm like, like six minutes from the end so I'm torn. My boss just texted me to ask me if I was at work because he is doing a latte Wednesday so my drink will be a little cold but it'll be fine but I, I'm realizing as I'm editing the vlog from the 16th that because today's the 18th, I didn't mention the new updates yesterday. So yesterday, I don't, I think the gatherings dropped down to 25 people, but I'm not 100% sure. But schools, uh, the school boards canceled schools in BC. So we ended our summer or spring camp. I keep wanting to say summer camp. So we ended our spring camp yesterday. Quite a few kids did show up still. I think maybe six from the original ones that they had didn't show up. But yeah, it was, it was good. They looked like they were all having fun. So hopefully when this all clears up and we have more like summer camps or whatever, they will come back because like I said, the kids seem to be enjoying it. I am just, I'm feeling vaguely like I'm getting my life together but also very much like I am a mess I think I need to like wash my hair before I go anywhere it just feels really gross and obviously get dressed I'm still in my pajamas and my stained shirt like see that shirt that's the one I'm wearing right now <laughs> that was two days ago I can guarantee you I wore this yesterday too anyway I'm a little congested still from waking up and I'm always congested in the morning but I'm gonna try to power through this and then still get ready for work and leave in time because I have to leave in about 40 minutes so fingers crossed did a little work and then fingers crossed once I get to work everything will be good I got like the meeting notes emailed already because a lot of people are hopefully are going to be attending remotely I can't because I will be there but um so there's like a letter from the president of our board saying like hey thank you for being the stone on which our manager can stand during these uncertain times and how we've been so proactive in this. A lot of theaters on the island are looking to us for guidance, so that's exciting. So hopefully that positive letter means that they want to pay us going forward. So it looks like there was like a budget, but I don't know, I didn't understand it. So anyways, that's where we're at. I think it's it seems like positivity happened, so we'll see. But I'm gonna go and try to power through this and then like wash my hair. Maybe I'll stop and like wash my hair in between, I don't know. This is where we're at, but I'm starting to feel a little bit more like myself, which is a nice thing. <laughs> Alrighty, so I am home now from work. It is about quarter after five. We had our meeting at two. There were one, two, three, four, 
six of us in the building so like half the staff and the other ones were there on remote I like I said I was working and there were some people who didn't know how to set up remotely so they just came in but we kept our social distancing distance and everything was bleached and sanitized before and I'm sure bleached and sanitized after so that's where we're at and for job wise <laughs> we have some goals milestones I don't know so basically the situation that we are at is we have short-term midterm and long-term plans so short term which goes up until when we've announced that we're closed which is April 30th they're going to honor all those shifts and all those hours and the board has agreed to pay us during this time so we can get a lot of crap done so that's super exciting on the negative side of that I now have to figure out how to fill all these shifts that some of them were deeply tied to or hours that some were deeply tied to shows which normally it would be a very easy thing to fill and now it's not so we're all getting creative I think I might end up doing some painting of theater walls because hey that needs to get done and we're all just pulling together this time and then after that point midterm so like May through June it'll depend on what our situation is if we can still be open or not and then at that point we will look into things like laying off people who fall in the uh, part-time casual or just casuals it just I don't know it's me so basically come May I could be laid off but for now it's nice to know that I have a bunch of shifts coming up and I know basically how much I'll be making over the next month and a half and so I can know what I can save which is nice and then who knows maybe in May I can go out to blind channel if I get laid off at that point who knows but that's where we are at I'm gonna go shower now because it's been a couple days and plus being around people I just want to shower and it still smells like a swimming pool at the theater so that's what's gonna happen and then I think probably try to be productive today I'm feeling a lot better like yesterday I was already starting to feel better like the anxiety and everything and then today I feel a lot better too with now having answers I hoped it would go this way um, and it did which is nice we're still going to be all right we were going to be issued ROEs and now I think if we want ROEs which is a record of employment we just have to reach out and at like any point during this month and a half if I'm like you know what I don't feel comfortable going into work I don't want to go into work I can ask for my ROE and just stop working which I'm not going to do because I would like to make money money is nice money pays for food and honestly like I I think I mentioned this recently oh when I was talking about my goals the other day I spend the majority of my money on food like eating out and stuff and so honestly this is like I'm gonna save so much money while I'm at home like we stocked up we still have like that's hash browns more hash browns ooh, french fries and tater tots um <laughs> so we've got quite a bit there's a few things like I'm I've got like I had two bags of rice because I stocked up before we went crazy but when we were in the store on Friday I was gonna grab another one but they were out of rice not concerned but I'd like to pick up another one soon and then like chicken strips are like my go-to um, lunch meal it's just easy so eventually I'll need to get some more of those and then like eventually get some more meat and stuff but like honestly we could probably go like another week and a half easily without having to get food which is very exciting I think we're gonna do sausages and rice for dinner tonight which will be good so should probably start cooking that soon but I'm gonna go shower right now I'm feeling a lot better about things it's great guys I'm employed for at least another month and a half which is fantastic I'm gonna take tomorrow off and then go in again on Friday and really kind of start to hammer out a schedule figure out what needs to be done I kind of went through um, and wrote a like basic list of things that I really know off the top of my head that need to get done and then I'll start slotting those in based on the hours that I have available to me and then from there I'm gonna reach out to one of the tech guys we talked about painting and stuff and like I'm cool I'm cool to paint for a couple hours a week like why not <laughs> and so yeah that's where we're at I'm feeling a lot better this was a nice meeting it was also fun because <laughs> like a lot of people were remoting in and one of the girls like turned on her webcam it was just a giant teddy bear so <laughs> that was fun so we made the best of it and um yeah so I'm gonna go now I am going to jump in the shower and I will check in with you afterwards at which point like I need to make a thumbnail for tomorrow's vlog I managed to finish it before finish the editing of the actual vlog before I left but I still need to make a thumbnail and I'll upload that but yeah oh, I it just it's such a weight off my shoulders <laughs> hello and welcome to day six of I haven't edited my novel in six days 
that didn't work out very well. Anyways, it is just after, it's like quarter after 10 now. My hair is just not feeling it today. I don't know what's going on with it. And um, I've just been chilling for the last little while, had dinner, and then I made some garlic twist bread. So Boston Pizza used to have this amazing twist bread and like my grandma insisted on going to Boston Pizza for dinner all the time when she was in town for like family things and the only thing that made it bearable was how amazing the twist bread was because they didn't really like their other food and then they stopped having it. So since then I've been trying to make my own twist bread. Uh, so I use some pizza dough. I tried making some like these like garlic knots the other day with pizza dough and it didn't really go very well so I was like this might work for twist bread. It was better. I think it needed more garlic though and I should have brushed the top with oil but it was better so we're making steps in the right direction. <laughs> Important things. Tomorrow I'm gonna bake bread. I have decided. Assuming I still feel like it tomorrow. <laughs> I think my plan for tomorrow is going to be to bake bread and edit my stupid book. Like it'd be fantastic. <laughs> English. Good thing we're not editing today. I like how I'm looking at my hand as if my hand is going to tell me how to speak English properly. Anyways, it'd be great if I could do at least 10,000 words tomorrow because that would put me under the 100,000 left. It'd be even better if I could do more. Ideally, I just want to do 5,000 because it has been six days since I touched it last. I'm just, I'm having a good time. This, there's just so much of this hair. <sighs> Anyway, um, that's the plan for tomorrow is to bake bread and edit all the words. It'd be fantastic. It's going to go quick. I know it's going to go quick. And I almost feel like maybe I could edit today if I was, maybe, maybe I'm in the mood. Um, I don't know, but it is like quarter after 10, so I should be going to sleep. But I haven't been going to sleep until like 2 in the morning lately. But I have been watching movies. I rewatched Frozen 2 last night. It was so good. <laughs> And then hilariously, because like I posted that I was watching Frozen 2 and then I was on Instagram after I finished watching it and a friend of mine, he was like, oh my god, this is the best scene ever where Kristoff has like his, what is it, like boy band moment in the woods. If you haven't seen Frozen 2, they released it early on Disney Plus, so go check it out because it's so good. Anyway, I'm rambling and um, I think I'm going to try to get a little bit more done before I crawl into bed. But that may change. I don't know. I just, I don't know. Like I said earlier, like I'm feeling a lot better today. Like more mentally stable, which is a fantastic thing. But now I'm just don't remember how to be productive is where we're at. So I'm going to maybe, 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 maybe I will try to edit now. We'll see. TBD, I guess, but I will check in with you before I go to sleep. <laughs> Alrighty, well, I am very glad that I decided to just rip off the band-aid and edit because I edited about 7,000 words. We're even closer to the getting under 100,000 words left to edit. And also it wasn't so bad, which was nice because like I've just, a, a couple days ago I just had no ability to edit. Just, just my brain was like, mm-mm. And um, I'm pretty sure in that vlog like five times I was like, mm-mm. <laughs> But anyways, um, yesterday I started to feel a lot better, and today, yeah, I think we're, we're gucky. <laughs> if you haven't been around for a while, you won't know that I, that I think that Gucci kind of looks like gucky, so I always say gucky, and then there's the, you know, we Gucci, so we gucky. <laughs> it's gone to the point where my mom does it too, and I think it's hilarious. Anyways, it is now 11.30, so I'm going to change my pajamas and climb into bed and maybe watch an episode of Designated Survivor or two. It's like kind of drawing me in, but it's also kind of losing me at the same time, so we'll just see where we go. But it left off with a cliffhanger. That's how it gets me, is it leaves off almost every episode with a cliffhanger. I'm like, well, now I have to watch the next episode, so that's where we're at. But I'm going to go now, and um, I'll see you when I see you. <laughs> Good night.